Hey everybody, it's another video time, and this is, I think, part five of this video series on getting started with CTS Wardrobe. In the last video, we created a really fast, simple entry in our wardrobe for the hair that I'm wearing. Let's take a look at how we can use wardrobe now with RLV to dress and undress, or in this case, to add and remove our hair. Let me just pop back over to my wardrobe really quick. And as you can see right here, I've got my entry, and it shows me that um, it's hair and pigtails, and I've got a picture of it. What I want to do is add, through preferences, something to this entry to make it easy for me to remove the hair that I'm already wearing. So I'm going to come up here to preferences, and I'm going to go to um, adjust item actions, and I'm going to add an action for take off. Click that, choose OK. And then I just want to press F5 or somehow refresh your web page for your wardrobe. And on the left hand side over here, I can click on today to see my new items. And now I've got uh, this here looks like a bra or a bikini top. And this is what you can click on to remove items that you're wearing. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And if it all works well, we'll come back over to wardrobe and I won't have my hair, or to, to Second Life, and I won't have my hair on. Hey, so that works pretty good. Let's use wardrobe to put my hair back on. So let me jump back into my uh, wardrobe here, and this very first button here is going to allow you to put on the hair. And when you click this button, what it's gonna do is it's gonna put on everything that you have inside of the folder that you created. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this, and it tells me Outfit Nola hair is being put on. Now, you can go ahead and uncheck Show This Dialog if you don't want to see this anymore, or you can leave it up. I'm going to go ahead and click Close. Switch back to my inventory. And, oh my goodness, look at see what we got here. We've got our HUD, and we've got the hair, but looks like we actually have two different hairs turned on. That's a problem. Let's look at our inventory folder. In our inventory folder, you'll see that we've got a two-tone hair blondes, and then we've got a plus-size blondes as well for avatars with, with, with bigger avatars, bigger heads, uh, so that it fits better. Well, I don't want to wear both of these. Uh, and then, of course, we have the HUD. So we're going to clean this up a little bit by adding some additional subfolders under NOLA hair. Now, my recommendation to everyone is for every single individual item you could wear, create a subfolder. So let's do that quick. I'm going to go ahead and come in here and I'm going to put a subfolder and call it HUD. And I'm going to pick up this HUD and I'm going to move it into that subfolder. And I'm going to create another subfolder and I'm going to call it hair. Now, unlike these matching folders where it says NOLA hair, where the names have to be unique and match what's in wardrobe identically, these subfolders do not have to be unique. You can use the same subfolders again and again and again. So I'm going to go ahead and hair, and I'm going to go another one, I'm going to call it hair plus size. And I just lost my pose stamp. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to go ahead and drag that in there. So now, instead of having everything in one folder, I've got all of this stuff into these subfolders here. Each one is in its own subfolder. Let's jump back into wardrobe and see what this looks like. So I'm going to come back over here, and we have this second button here now, and it says show the wear dialog for NOLA hair. If I click on this second button, it's going to go out to my inventory, and it's actually going to find all of those subfolders that I found earlier. Hair, hair plus size, and HUD. Those are the three I just created. So that's really good. Now I can control what I want to put on. Let's see how this works. I'm going to click on Close. And I'm going to go ahead and click this Remove button again, this Take Off button again, to remove the hair from my outfit. So I come back over here, and you can see now I'm not wearing any hair at all anymore. All right. Back into my wardrobe. I'm going to click this second button now. And this time, I only want to wear that regular hair, the one that I already put the texture on. The plus size was the white one, but I'm going to wear just this first one. I'm just going to click on this subfolder button. And if I go back to my wardrobe or my Second Life, now I'm just wearing that one hair. I'm not wearing the HUD, just the hair. 
If I want to change the texture of my hair, I can come back over here, click on HUD, and now it's going to put the HUD on for me. And I click the HUD, and I can change it to a different color on side one and side two. And there we go. Pretty good. So this just kind of enhances how we think of and how we use our wardrobe. So once we've gone in and we've added our picture and we've added our folder that matches the item that's in our wardrobe, we can create additional subfolders to further control how we wear the items that we have. In the next video, we're going to take this a step further. We're going to look at some different ways to remove the items that you're wearing and we're going to add another item to our wardrobe, this time using a slightly different method to upload that picture. So until the next video, I hope this is helpful, and we'll see you next time.